Indeed, it really all depends how you view it. I had trouble sleeping last night. Some people are already reaching for the umbrellas. Many more of you will do so over the next few days. But you're right, Darren, that the high temperatures were certainly a feature in the southern parts of the British Isles over the weekend. 31 beat most of Europe, in fact. And if you know somebody who was heading down to some of the Greek islands over the weekend, well, they had a pretty torrid time of it as well. Quite a bit of rain there at times. Limnos was one of the places that caught my eye. And you'll just notice there, too, in the Bay of Biscay, quite a crop of black cloud. That's a lot of thunderstorms. And you'll see they're breaking out quite widely across the Alpine region and down into the Balkans as well. And I think all of these areas are likely to stay pretty unsettled through the week, but uh, you'll notice there's some sunshine to come through the Mediterranean if you're heading that way. And uh, it stays pretty fine across Western Russia and parts of Scandinavia too. But if we come back past that uh, area of cloud with all the thunderstorms in Biscay, you'll notice that there's a real ribbon of cloud up and across the northern half of the British Isles, tied in with a set of fronts which are likely to be around not only through the rest of today, but on into the midweek period as well. And the persistence of that rain could cause a real problem for parts of Scotland Scotland and eventually down into England and Wales as we move on towards midweek. Now it could well be rain, it could be thunderstorms. We've already seen one or two down in Norfolk and Suffolk to start off the day. I think they may well become a little bit more widespread through the afternoon, not only in East Anglia but also coming up into the Midlands and eventually in the late afternoon, perhaps this evening, we may well find them getting into the north of England as well. And just a flavour here of different conditions altogether across the Irish Sea here, right about the Isle of Man, down some of these western fringes, it's dull and it's murky, and there all the while the persistent rain through Northern Ireland and getting up into Scotland really puts a dent in the temperatures, but they stay on the high side in the south at least in the short term, but notice the balance of power changes, the colours drain away in the south as the temperatures fall back to around about the sort of low 20s, but they increase across Northern Ireland as something slightly drier, slightly brighter that gets into there to finish off the week. And if you're thinking about Manchester, well, just bear in mind what I was saying there about the risk of those showers. Around about a 20% chance, I would have thought, but quite a balmy evening, so you won't need too many layers. Just make sure that the top one might be waterproof. Overnight, that persistent rain across the north. This area of shading here indicating where we may well find some uh, showers persisting, one or two heavy and rumbly, thundery ones. Notice that it's going to be another sticky night, another dull start to the day on Tuesday with all this cloud and rain still persisting across many northern and western parts and more showers to be had tomorrow, some heavy and thundery ones on what will be another sticky day and we keep those conditions with a big area of low pressure close by both on Wednesday and indeed Darren on Thursday.